everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And today we're back with another rack stall haul. This time I hit TJ Maxx. I was able to grab a couple fragrances that I have not tried yet. One of these fragrances does not get a lot of love in the community. Uh, it actually gets a little bit of hate as just being sort of average and just not that interesting. So I'm excited to try that one. It's actually a flanker of the original. Uh, it's the Eau de Parfum version of that fragrance. And then in addition to that, I also have another one that I'm hoping is a hidden gem cheapy from TJ Maxx. This one I know gets compared to Toy Boy, obviously a much cheaper version of that fragrance. I have not tried it, so we'll try it here together. First, I just wanna shout out the winner of the 2000 subscriber giveaway. I gave away a bottle of Tommy Hilfiger's Impact Intense. The winner, Skylar Robledo, I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, won the bottle, so congratulations, Skylar. Not all is lost. There will be more giveaways on this channel, so if you're interested in future giveaways, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Channel. But without further ado, let's get into the first fragrance. So as I said, this first fragrance, uh, all I know about it is that it does get compared to Moschino's Toy Boy scent I am talking about is Jason Wu's Velvet Rouge. Now I paid $19.99 for this fragrance from TJ Maxx. So let's bust it open. I'm going to try these on skin. I'm going to skip the strip, try them on skin and see what I get see what I think of it. So I want to say where I found this fragrance, as you can see from the footage, was in the women's section of my TJ Maxx, the women's fragrance section. And I want to say this fragrance is uh, marketed to women. Uh, I think some people would consider this a unisex fragrance. If it's compared to Moschino's Toy Boy, which is a, uh, uh, I would say unisex, absolutely unisex fragrance. Um, although leans a bit more masculine to me. I would imagine that this is also unisex, but let's try it. This is also one fluid ounce. So it's one $19.99 for one fluid ounce. So this is a 30 mil. So the bottle's kind of nice. Um, kind of an interesting top there. Cap, which I'm not, uh, haven't really seen many like this. So not the best atomizer. Okay, wow, in the air. This is a very, very interesting scent already. Okay, I definitely pick up the vibe of Toy Boy, for sure, I pick up that rose right away. There's also something else going on here, maybe like something like a cashmere and wood, or it's a bit fuzzy. I wouldn't say effervescent, but it's fuzzy. It has a sort of fuzzy feel to it. There is a woodsy note to me. Uh, it could be that cashmere and wood. There's also something really green that's standing out to me that's almost coming across as like a palm olive or like a dishwashing detergent, but it's not bad. It just smells really clean, soapy, uh, sort of, fresh spicy to me. I would say that this is a, has a bit more of an ambery feel to it than Toy Boy does. I do get the similarity, mainly in that sort of watery rose that I also get from Toy Boy, but this has something else, another element to it. I would say that this one leans more feminine than masculine. Makes sense that this is marketed to women, although I think it really could be a unisex fragrance. It sort of just sort of tips its toe over into the more feminine side of things. I'm also picking up some other florals, can't quite make them out. Uh, it is sort of a, uh, I get a sense of a white floral in addition to that rose and just that sort of clean green, uh, almost again, palm olive uh, dish detergent smell, which is very pleasant. It just, reminding me too much of dish, dish detergent. This is probably not something I would wear, but I can understand why someone would like this. It's very interesting, it's different, and it's a really nice take on rose in my opinion, mixed with that green note. And again, that, I don't know if it's cashmere and wood, but I do get a little bit of woods and this fizziness to it, this fuzziness, which again, very interesting. I'm gonna let this dry down. We'll go back to it. I'm gonna get into the next fragrance, put it on the other arm and see what I think. So shout out to Kai first. Kai is a major contributor to the Mr. Smelly live stream. He is active in the chat. He is a frequent super chatter. So shout out to Kai. Kai really wanted me to try this fragrance. The scent I'm talking about is Dolce & Gabbana's K Eau de Parfum. Now, as I said in the intro, this one doesn't get any love and neither does the EDT. I have tried the EDT. It wasn't very memorable to me. I didn't dislike it, um, but it 
wasn't worthy of me purchasing a bottle or anything like that or really having an afterthought about it. So I'm excited to try the EDP because I do know the EDP is considered a better fragrance. People tend to sort of uh, speak more highly of the EDP than they do to EDT. So I'm interested to bust this open and see what I think of it. This was actually $64.99 at TJ Maxx, which is pretty consistent with online discounters. If you go to Fragrance Net, I think you can probably get it a bit cheaper, but uh, it's pretty consistent with online discounters. So I don't feel like I overpaid for this necessarily, but check out the atomizer. Decent atomizer. Okay. So in the air, really fresh and clean, very sort of clean and invigorating, bright. This is reminding me of something, not sure what it is, but really likable scent. I understand why some people are maybe a bit disappointed in this fragrance because it smells really good. It just doesn't smell that interesting, um, that different than I guess your typical shower gel. I am getting a fruitiness from it, so it's not all citrus. I am getting some type of fruitiness, almost a sweet fruitiness. Can't tell if it's orange or grapefruit, but it's in that vein of being sort of a, a sweeter citrus. As this sort of sets a bit, I'm getting more of the lavender, so it's very clean very aromatic, not getting any particular type of woods, uh, mainly sweet, fresh, and bright. In the background, I am picking up on some patchouli and it's this sort of earthy, chocolatey patchouli. So this is becoming a bit more interesting as it dries on my skin. Yeah, I'm really liking it. It's, I, you know, this is a really safe fragrance. It's not gonna be anything challenging. I would imagine this to be a great compliment getter because it is so fresh and clean and it's really likable, really mass pleasing. So I understand what Dolce Gabbana was trying to do with this fragrance was, I guess, it's not particularly blue. I wouldn't consider it a really a blue fragrance. I'm not getting a whole lot of ambroxan or anything like that. Just smells really fresh and clean and aromatic and bright. So yeah, I quite like this one. I do wanna go back to the Jason Wu and see how that's changed. So I'm picking up a lot of the same elements. It's really settled down. It was a bit more synthetic in the opening. It smells a little bit more natural and more rounded now, a little less harsh. I do much prefer Toy Boy. However, I do get the similarities and I would definitely stick with Toy Boy over this, but this is a really nice cheap alternative. And I could see a lot of people really liking this one. It's more of an ambery, almost resinous version of Toy Boy. Uh, less rose, but definitely still there and a little bit more of uh, these green aspects to it. And K Eau de Parfum, my memory of the EDT was pretty much, not that I didn't like the scent, as I said, but un not memorable enough for me to pick up a bottle. However, K Eau de Parfum does seem to be a lot better. So yeah, take that for what it's worth. I do like it. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below what your last rack store pickup was. Was it a cheapie? Was it a hidden gem? Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys are finding at your local rack stores. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.